Prince Harry received support from his uncle Charles Spencer amid court case. Princess Diana's brother shared that he was backing the Duke of Sussex. Prince Harry testified in court on Tuesday, in a strongly worded witness statement that criticized media intrusion into his family's life. His uncle, Charles Spencer, clearly supports Harry's stance. As he later took to Twitter to share former Labour advisor Alistair Campbell's tweets about the case. In the posts, all of which the Earl retweeted, the Politico wrote. Prince Harry makes a very good point re the damage done to trust in your own circle. When stories appear and you have no idea where they come from. Some of the biggest fallouts I had in number 10 arose from suspicions about who was briefing out confidential information. In several of the worst, I now know that the information came not from internal sources but phoned hacking or illegal lagging. Harry may not be able to prove that all of the stories referred to in court came from illegal activity. But that illegal activity was being conducted on a near industrial scale by several papers is beyond doubt. That is why I willingly gave evidence. Leverson was the chance to change media culture. For the reasons Harry set out today, the incestuous relationship between press and government, that chance was thwarted. I believe in a free press. But I also believe in the rule of law. Both are essential to a healthy democracy. If both press and politicians defend breaches of the rule of law, we do not have a healthy democracy. The case has been brought against Mirror Group newspapers. By the Prince and other high-profile figures over alleged unlawful information gathering, including phone hacking. Prince Harry claims that MGM illegally obtained as many as 140 stories published between 1996 and 2010. Harry is one of four representative claimants whose cases have been selected for trial. The others are Coronation Street actors Michael Turner and Nikki Sanderson and comedian Paul Whitehouse's ex-wife Fiona Whiteman. Harry's uncle Charles has had his own battles with the press. With the method used to obtain Princess Diana's 1995 panorama interview found deceitful. The BBC and journalist Martin Bushier, who conducted the tell-all interview after being introduced to the princess by her brother, showed Diana forged bank statements that suggested she had been betrayed by her staff. Lord Dyson, the former Master of the Royals and Head of Civil Justice, was appointed to look into the circumstances. And his inquiry published in May 2021 concluded that Mr. Bashir deployed deceitful behaviour. To secure the interview, in a serious breach of BBC editorial rules. Reacting to the outcome of the report, Charles took to Twitter to write. I'd like to thank the TV journalist Andy Webb for his tireless professionalism in bringing the Bashir Panorama BBC scandal to light. If he had it have pursued this story for well over a decade. And shared his findings with me last October, today's findings would it have surfaced. Harris' appearance in court marked the first time in more than 20 years. That a member of the royal family has testified since his paternal aunt, Princess Anne, in 2002. Charles Spencer is backing Prince Harry as he makes his case against Mirror Group newspapers. The ninth Earl Spencer shared tweets supporting his nephew the Duke of Sussex. As he gave evidence against the powerful publisher at High Court in London on Tuesday and Wednesday. On Wednesday, Charles replied to Daily Mail columnist Amanda Platell, who tweeted, Is Harry still obsessed with former love Chelsea Davy? Harry mentions her 118 times in court evidence. Meghan just five times. No wonder Megs didn't show up. Charles, who is Princess Diana's brother, responded, pathetic, at a mandatch little you have no shame, and even less credibility. Last time I heard from you, you were guilty of libeling me, as your employer at Daily Mail UK agreed. Now you're put up to misrepresent significant legal evidence as if it was something trivial. When a commenter wrote, can you point me in the direction of the significant evidence of phone hacking please? Charles replied, the tens of millions paid out by the group to those they hacked, to start with. Hope that helps. In several of the worst I now know that the information came not from internal sources but phone hacking or illegal blagging. Harry may not be able to prove that all of the stories referred to in court came from illegal activity. But that illegal activity was being conducted, he continued on a near industrial scale by several papers is beyond doubt. That is why I willingly gave evidence. Leverson was the chance to change media culture. For the reasons Harry set out today.
the incestuous relationship between press and government, that chance was thwarted. I believe in a free press. But I also believe in the rule of law. Both are essential to a healthy democracy. If both press and politicians defend breaches of the rule of law, we do not have a healthy democracy, Campbell wrote. If you have a real interest in Harry Case I strongly recommend avoid reading the press coverage which is, as always when the interests of the press are concerned, largely skewed to suit the agenda of each paper's stance. Far better if you have time to find transcripts online, the strategist wrote on Twitter. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.